Give me a little money. Can't come up the Porsche now. I take trips out the country. Not yet, not yet. We're not taking trips out, out the country yet. One day. Uh, I've been thinking a lot about how how far I still got to go. Not with just YouTube, but I still got a long way to go. But come a long way. Come a long way and still have a long way to go as well. Um, but in this video, we are reacting to, I think it's called Don't Miss by SSG Kobe. I've been talking about SSG Kobe for a little while and I've talked about him on the, I think, the, be the best songs of the year list. And then, I don't even know, um, albums I'm looking forward to in 2022 list, I think came out last week. Um, he was on that list. I'm hoping he drops an album sometime soon. He's dropped a slew of singles. I love Calabasas, but it's not. I love Caddy that came out a couple months ago. Short, but very good. I love um, MIA. Um, and overall, I think I think he's got a pretty bright future. I think I think his style is pretty good. I, I enjoy his style actually quite a bit. I think this is called Don't Miss. It's just over three minutes long. I started to play it earlier, but then... Um, stopped and just thought I should do a reaction. I have not done one of these reactions in a long time. In like, I don't know, at least three or four months. I haven't done one of these sit down, play the song reactions. It's been mostly reviews. I've, I've been going to the batch reviews. I'm hoping to pump out like review after review after review after review, like after this video, like a lot of reviews. I've got like 10 to 15 albums on deck that I want to review and I'm still digesting let it or some of them some of them I'm definitely ready to review but I think like through February it's gonna be just like reviews on top of reviews I've got like Roddy Rich on there the offseason by J. Cole Casey Hill Code of the Friend Rick Ross's album um, Earl Sweatshirt which was not a good album in my opinion um, but a good amount of albums that I'm going to review in February we're getting off topic though let's react to this song I think it's called Don't Miss. Uh, yeah, Don't Miss. Pretty cool cover, I must say. I think it's three minutes and six seconds long. Three, two, one. I like this. I, I've heard this already. I like it. I like it. What is this build up? All right, I'll pause it real quick. Production is pretty good so far. I do like that. I like the vocals in the beginning. I heard probably the first 20 seconds of the song so far. I like those vocals that he comes on with. The the, the, the melodies and the vocals, like um, five, six seconds in. I like that. I like the spacey production. It's almost like a psychedelic trap mix kind of sound. I, I like it. I like the sound. The lyrics are not amazing so far, but I do enjoy the sound so far of the song and the style. It's different. Auto tune is actually or th th there's actually a, a lot of auto tune, but we'll see if it sounds good throughout the entire song. Oh, what did he say? Oh, the lyrics aren't on here. I'm gonna rewind it quick. I'm gonna. Or, Play it back a little bit. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. I missed the line I wanted to hear. Cut, cut off friends that I've been with last year. Is there a hook? Is there a constant hook? A hook? I think so. Alright, so... I don't know the um I think I don't know either it's a mess or it either blended very well I can't I don't know it I it always takes me a few listens to really get a feel for the song and the sound the artist is portraying in the song or the sound they're trying to go for and give off especially in songs like this for someone who's newer in the game and um experiments a lot with stuff like this and someone who's underground like this and doesn't really have a consistent sound. I've liked what he's released so far, like I said. But um, the, the way he went into the hook, I think it was either... I don't know. I think it was pretty smooth. Because 
I had no clue that he was going back into the hook. I heard one of the lyrics from the hook, but it, it didn't really feel like he went back into the hook. I don't know. We'll see if towards the, the second verse, if that's if that still sounds good or is or I don't know or, or doesn't. We'll see. Doesn't, doesn't miss. Doesn't miss. Beat's gonna drop. Beat's gonna drop. The beat's gonna drop. This is different. Wow, this is different. Is that it? Okay, song's almost over. We'll let it play out. Okay, that was that was an experience. Wow. That was something. Um It seemed like he was winding the song down. I think this is like my only real critique. Um it seems like he was he was winding the song down like with like a minute left or over a minute. Like it went hook verse hook and then like he was just winding the, or going with the hook longer and then winding the song down had that beat switch at the end and a couple times in, in the song where he went like quieter and then came back in and the beat stopped for a second this was different but i think it's good i think i like it um i think after a couple more listens i could really really like this um but i think i'm satisfied with this i think i like it um i like the, the different styles that he is He's um, going with every song. This is like energetic trap, psychedelic mix. Caddy is like a psychedelic melodic song. Calabasas is a more aggressive, upbeat song. Um, MIA is melodic and upbeat. And they all sound different. All the songs I've heard from him, all the singles, the four singles are um, just, all. They, they all sound different. Um, very distinct from each other there's very distinct differences um i think i'm happy with this though um i i think it was good um it was different um i said it i said it as it was playing it was different i wasn't really expecting this but i'm not surprised to get something this different from ssg kobe um the hook was pretty repetitive but um besides that and the song just like winding down a little early i don't think it was bad um, this is the last minute where it's just the beat switch really needed? I don't know. I think it sounded good. Um, I don't know if it's really needed. I think it sounded good though. The production was good throughout the song. Um, I was wrong about the, um, or having a second verse in the song. I assumed he would because it's three minutes long. Maybe stick a feature on here to make it so th the last minute of the song isn't pretty much just the beat. Um, but... I don't have too many critiques of this. I, I think it's good. I think it's good that he's doing something different like this, a style switch. I think on an album, that this could sound even better because of the transition at the end. If it transitioned nicely into the next track and the production on the next track, I think it, I think it would sound pretty good. Um, pretty good, though. Um, I like it. Rating for the track. For right now, we'll go with... I want to go like in between 7.5 or 8. 7.5, 8-ish. Um, for the rating of this track. I, I think it's pretty good. It doesn't absolutely blow me away, but it's a pretty good song in my opinion. Thank you for watching. Drop your thoughts on Don't Miss by SSG Kobe down in the comment section. Drop a like and subscribe as well, and I'll see you in the next video.